Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with a special nighttime episode for you. In this installment, we will be comparing the differences between halogen, LED, and HID headlights. In the past, I've done a video about swapping out the halogen bulbs in my Honda Element for HID bulbs. A lot of you had issue with that, and to be honest, with good reason. It's not always legal or even proper to upgrade the headlights that you have, if they're halogen, to some other form of headlight. You need to check with your local laws and make sure that that's possible. The only thing I'm here to do in this video tonight is to compare the differences in light output of the HID, the halogen, and the LED headlights. That's it. It's not an endorsement of anything one way or the other. So I'm going to do a series of tests and do a comparison between these three types of bulbs in the Honda Element and we'll see what we come up with. I actually have a light meter here. We're going to check the light output and everything. Let's have some fun starting with the halogen headlights. Now we've marked where the front wheel of the element is so that we can pull it up to the same spot each and every time. These are the halogens as they project onto the garage door. And we've discovered that uh, it's much better to have the engine running to have consistent voltage going to the bulbs themselves. So we're gonna have the engine running for all of our testing. Okay, the light output from the halogen, 5361 seems like a fair number. 5386. So we'll record that at 5386 lux. So here are the HID headlights up against the wall here. And uh, we're gonna take a light reading and find out what kind of output they are. Checking light output of the HIDs. So 10,300 with the HID. I think the LEDs were probably some of the easiest to install. Okay, here are the LEDs and I'm gonna say LEDs are a lot like spray and pray. It seems like the beam just goes everywhere, where it's much more focused, it seems, with the HIDs and the halogens. Here we are with the LEDs. These don't really have a hot spot, they just kind of go everywhere. 2359. We'll just call that at 2105 lux. Now I want to measure the effective length of the light output from the front of the vehicle. So I'm going to park this out on the road here and then measure from the front to where the light drops off uh, further out in front of the vehicle. We've also marked the front wheels of the element where it sits now, so each and every time we do this test, the element's going to be parked in the same spot. I have this uh, measuring tool. I'm going to measure from the front of the vehicle until uh, Derek tells me to stop says that uh, I've reached the end of where the light is reaching inside the car. Here we go. We still going? I hit the wrong button, but right about there. So we're at the limit? Correct. This is 77 feet, 10 inches. Just a little note here. We've decided to leave the element in the exact same spot. That way there's no movement or anything or any, any question about it. Now we're gonna measure the distance of where this falls off. I'm gonna start at the front of the vehicle. I've reset my measuring tool and Derek is hopefully going to let me know when I've reached pretty much the limits. So I'm gonna start here, the front of the vehicle. Derek says here, wow, almost 10 feet further. The LEDs were 88 feet, 10 inches. So that's 10 feet farther than what we had before with the halogens. Well, HID is definitely the most difficult to install. And that's probably because I still have the little rubber protector on the back of my headlights. One thing about HIDs is they take a second to warm up. So when you first turn them on, they're not bright, but they get brighter. See what I mean? Same as before, we're gonna see basically where the uh, light starts to drop off. I've got my measuring tool zeroed out. Derek is gonna tell me when I've reached the limits of where the light is reaching and we will compare measurements, starting now. Stop there. Really? Really, that's as far as it's making it on the ground. Huh, that's less than halogen. How weird. Oddly, the HIDs had the shortest distance at 56 feet 4 inches. 
Now I want to test what the effect is inside a vehicle that's lower than this vehicle. So I'm going to get in my Acura Vigor and pull up alongside of this until the point where the light is shining in my face and take another light reading. And then we're going to try the high beams just to do a comparison. But I realize that all the other testing we're doing now is strictly with low beams. But just want to see the effect of high beams and low beams inside the car with the light meter. All right, I'm in about the limit of where the uh, Elements headlights fall off. So I'm just gonna keep driving up until the glare gets the brightest as if we're passing each other on the road. And you know what? I think it was, well, maybe it's right about here. It's hard to say. So maybe a little farther back. I actually seemed brighter farther back. And right about here seems to be the place. All right, I'm gonna take a light reading now. So it's extremely difficult to hold the camera and uh, take the light reading at the same time. So I'm just gonna take the light reading and I'll report back to you. And uh, I'll push the hole down it and show you what I got. And the reading that I got was 11 lux. So I maxed out 11 lux. I'm gonna try driving uh, back and forth to see if I can get a bigger number there, but I just wanna be absolutely certain I get the greatest reading that I can get. So I just tried again and 11 lux seems to be where things maxed out. I'm going to have Derek turn on the high beams just to have a comparison. But now we know, as far as halogens go, driving by, it was 11 lux. Hey Derek. Yeah, go ahead. Can you give us the high beams? Well, as we can clearly see, it is a lot brighter. Let's take a reading. That jumped up significantly to 79 lux. Big difference between low beams and high beams, and I can say it's difficult to see just with the high beams right at this distance. So let's uh, swap these out. Uh, let's, do the, uh, let's do the LEDs next. So this is what it's like to roll up on the LEDs in the Acura. So now I'll go back to a point where they're the brightest and take a reading. That seems pretty stinking bright right about there. Take a new reading. And this is significantly more at 52 lux. So low beams are at 52 lux. Okay, Derek, give me a high beam. Strangely, that didn't seem to really change it all that much. So that's interesting. High beam reading. So the reading went to 64 lux with the high beams on. Now that we've tested the LEDs, gonna switch them out for the HIDs and do all the same tests. Well, surprisingly, the HIDs don't seem to be putting out as well as the LEDs, but like before, we're gonna drive up on the element and see what it's like to drive up and past it, and then we'll take some uh, light measurement readings and see what we get. Right about here seems to be where things are brightest with the HIDs. Okay, let's take a reading. We got 17 lux on this one, so this is actually standing up to what we're seeing. It seems the LEDs are brightest. Uh, we're gonna try high beams next. Okay, Derek, give me the high beams. That is brighter. All right, high beams. With the high beams, we ended up with 76 lux with the HIDs. Well, those were certainly some interesting results. Kind of unexpected for me. Uh, the difference is between halogen, LED, and HID bulbs. That's all we were covering in this video. We're not saying who's best or whether or not you should do this. For that, check your local laws to see if it's even possible to upgrade the headlights, and if you do, what kind of things you need to conform to to do that legally. The differences that we found were the halogen headlights fell off after 77 feet, 10 inches. Uh, as far as up here on the wall, they came out at 386 lux. Uh, the low beams shined in at uh, 11 lux, the high beams shined in at 79 lux. So there was quite a difference between those. Uh, the LEDs, those were kind of surprising. Uh, the LEDs went 88 feet, 10 inches, as far as where they started to drop off. 
52 lux and low beam, 64 lux on high beam. And then up here against the wall, strangely enough, 2105 uh, lux as far as those go. The HIDs for me were the biggest surprise. They fell off after 56 feet 4 inches. Uh, they came through at 17 lux and then high beams at 76 lux. Also they had the highest reading at 10,300 lux up against the wall. Once again, very interesting readings. I'll post links in the description to all of these different types of bulbs. I got them all from Motorfeen. I'll also post a link to them. And also any additional videos that might be related, such as when I swapped out these headlights for HIDs. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. I'll put a link to that in the description, along with everything else. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you wish to connect with me socially, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time maybe in the daytime.